Hello, it's Menzo. I've got another update on the Minecart Network project. This time I've managed to overcome the Southwest bug with a new design. And I've just managed to set that up with a range of minecarts uh, to test this out. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to work. Let's just give this a kick off. Let's see whether we can find a pair of minecarts going to each cactus. It's looking good. Where's the where are the last two going? Yes! Wow, I love it when it works. Okay, let's take a look at this in more detail. What I've done is I've moved the hopper one block further away from the mainline track so that we overcome that hopper uh, minecart bug from the previous video. Um, I've also moved the hopper one space back from that junction, uh, which means that all of the carts can now go across here at high speed and we no longer, no longer have a need for that braking mechanism that I had in the earlier video. Uh, so just to have a, a quick look at how this works, we fill up the, uh, the hopper uh, with the books that we want. This is book number two. Um, we then have one book in each of the hoppers and droppers underneath. So we've got a set of four uh, droppers and then a hopper at the top that also has a book in it as well. So as a uh, minecart approaches the hopper it increases the count which triggers the redstone to change the switch. The minecart then goes along the switch, collects the duplicate copy of the book from the hopper and activates the redstone uh, switch over here. That then triggers this um, uh, piston which will pop up and down uh, generating a pulse to these uh, droppers which will then pass one book from the hopper all the way back up and refill the hopper at the top. And as that last book uh, is sucked out from uh, the hopper it returns back to the default state uh, with the, the junction set to go straight through and, and this returns to being uh, fully occupied with one book in each slot. Um, so there we go, this is the new design um, it's managing to, to work successfully now in all directions um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm just about to go and make a new build um, to see if I can make a mini roundabout and uh, the th the full three-way junction that Tyrannex had in his original design. I'll uh, see you soon. Bye. Okay, it's been uh, a couple of days since that first cut. I've uh, added another light on the column to indicate we've made more progress with uh, a working model for the uh, new design. And I'll now show you uh, how I've put that into a new build to create a mini roundabout. It looks like this, actually uh, looks kind of more like a square than a round circle, so um, uh, not sure whether to call it a square about rather than a roundabout, but um, I'll launch, uh, launch a few cards and you can make up your own mind what to call it. Uh, but it basically it's that same design uh, repeated four times uh, with a very a small loop uh, around the outside to make, uh, make it into a roundabout shape. Let's fire off some carts and see this in action. Let's get around here and flick this lever. Now we should see one pair of carts going off in each direction. They're going up that way, that way. So it just leaves one going around to the, the base, same way they came from. Excellent. Well, I do like it when it works. Let's just check that the one here, now that jumped over the top as a leapfrog, so that one is the one with the book in it. Yep. Okay. 
we'll do that again um, from the opposite direction let's just put in book number one two three four and I've got a switch here which will send the carts into the roundabout from the other side now I just need to reset this counter and uh, I'll show you how this part works you move this down uh, to stop the uh, the counter put that one down to reset it and that's going to shift items back into the other hopper and that light will go out yes it does so it's been reset so I can put that back up and we're ready to start launching them again so this time the carts are going to go all the way around and come into the roundabout from the other side and again I'm looking for one pair of carts going off in each direction okay so the last cart's going back the same way they came excellent ah oh, fantastic well I it is nice when things do work out so there we go there's a a, a compact mini roundabout uh, for carts that can automatically route themselves across your network now there is obviously one drawback at the moment it's great if you have very very small traffic on your network because we haven't got the traffic uh, queuing system there's no uh, PEZ dispenser here so there's potential for carts uh, coming in from different directions to collide on that roundabout the other thing at the moment is that the roundabout junctions are configured to automatically um, divert the traffic off if they uh, are matching the book um, so if there is a, a cart that are, enters the roundabout and it doesn't have a book for exit 1, 2, 3 or 4 it's going to keep on going around and around in the, uh, the roundabout forever um, until it until it grinds to a stop so there's no default um, exit that the carts could go on forever um, I don't think that's necessarily an issue um, you're, you're obviously when you set the network up you make sure that your your carts and your books tally together so that um, you don't end up sending carts into a roundabout that they can't get out of in terms of uh, taking it the next step then I'm I think I'm going to need to set up a, a um, detector rail about here where I've got the cursor to detect an incoming cart on this section of track and then lock uh, this incoming track over here with a PEZ dispenser so that um, the carts don't collide um, we don't need to lock the entire roundabout when a cart goes on to the, uh, the roundabout we just need to make sure that uh, this, this junction here is clear uh, when there's an incoming cart from here so um, maybe just uh, have a detector here to lock the oncoming traffic over here um, and likewise for the other the other junctions um, so there, there we go there's the mini roundabout uh, now I have tried a few other designs I've got uh, a very very early concept um, of a three-way junction uh, which I think is going to be more common I'm going to have uh, carts going up and down my main line and then I'm going to send them off down a branch line into my chicken farm or uh, the branch line into my player station um, and then they go come back onto the main the main branch line the main line sorry so this is a very um, very quick uh, concept I've just taken that same junction design and I've repeated it three times for the three the three-way junction so there's a lot more work to do to now wrap that um, redstone underneath itself to to get it a little bit more compact and squeeze things uh, squeeze things together but I've also put in some placeholders where I think the PEZ dispenser should be I'll just send a few cuts off on this uh, track so you can see where I've got up to so far so there should be um, two carts carrying on the main line and two carts taking the branch line so there's there's one pair taking the branch one pair going straight through second pair taking the branch and the second pair goes straight through ah dang that didn't work ah well I, I'll, uh, I'll have to go and check the timing on that one let's try let's try this direction I want to see two carts heading on the main line north and two pairs of carts heading on the main line south so there's one heading north that lot's heading north so this should go south 
Yep, and this should go south as well. It does. Excellent. Okay, well that that bit worked, so I'm pleased with that part. Let's try let's try this one. Make sure that's up. Hang on, up. Okay, off you go. So again, uh, two carts go straight straight on, and two carts go down the branch line. Okay, one down the branch line, one straight on, another one straight on. So this should go down the branch line. Excellent. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, so as the carts are uh, are going through. I've got a, a PES dispenser here so that the carts coming down the branch line either from the north or south direction uh, the carts coming down this branch line will get merged together this, the PES dispenser here will uh, stall the uh, carts to make sure that uh, they don't collide and equally the carts coming from the branch line to join onto the main line get queued up here um, I'm going to have a little um, a detector here so that, uh, and another one on that side, to detect the traffic um, on that main, the main line, um, and queue up the carts so that they don't join the main line when there's traffic coming from either direction. So if there's traffic coming north or south, it's going to lock up this junction here so that the um, the carts joining the main line don't collide. It's um, a lot more work to do. This is only a very rough uh, concept diagram for me getting the routing in my head uh, clear so that I can I can understand if it's going to work or not I need to um, fold it all together and uh, condense the redstone so if, uh, if you want to have a go at that um, I'll upload the uh, the world in to the uh, video description so you can download this and see if you can see if you can optimize this layout uh, and get a, a compact working design going. But that's all for now. Um, hopefully you found this useful. Um, and I'll see you again, uh, hopefully, next week. Okay? See you soon. Bye for now.